Hello and welcome to Talk Audio TV. You're looking at the Calibre RMD579 DAB BT, meaning it's uh, got a digital audio broadcasting tuner. It's actually a DAB plus tuner, if you can see the little logo there, look. And uh, it actually comes with its own antenna as well, which is pretty happening. Because that's an expensive little item. Click, oh, actually, I have to press the button. Assuming it's properly installed in your dashboard. Ooh, very first thing I ever reviewed. This little group of three screen uh, worry devices. And they cost hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. This one, well, I think it's going to retail at 299 for most people. What I've got running down here is uh, some music on my phone. It's a fabulously old fashioned device with a headphone socket output. There's a USB pluggy do on the front, which is actually from a Kenwood promotional device. And there's a bit of a two gigabyte micro SD inside loaded with stuff, although it can take up to 32 these days. What's going on on here? So how about if we press play? Here we go. Play. Ooh. Just got to wait to come to... Press play. Here we go. Look. Press play. Hmm. Recognise that, perhaps. Let's go back to the... Uh, but as you want to play, I've got to be uh, don't want to fall foul of YouTube's rules. But um, let's just change the mode. In fact, let's grab the remote control, which has got loads of buttons on, and mode. I just got to let the two torches see each other. Oh, there's no service on DAB because I haven't plugged the radio in. Likewise, the FM music. What's there? Oh. That's on the USB. From our friends from Dakar. Okay, even a few seconds out, they will recognise that. So, uh, let's just see what happens if we press this button. Ooh, next track. Kind of cool. Uh, mode again. Oh, it's here. Ah, this is something of my very own. Bop. Uh, that was an upright video which it turns sideways and struggles with. This is on my own now. It was a dark and stormy Halloween night. Somewhere in the distance, a wolf howled its lonely plight. Somewhere to lay our heads for the night, and at last we found this old house. Knocking on the door, it just fell open. I stepped forwards, and immediately fell into a hole. And my stupid girlfriend, she just followed me. quality here, check this out. Here's the handling noise, beautifully rendered in stereo. Wow. It's faintly daft to me, I've been struggling with this thing. I looked up what else is on that card on the inside. Oh, I'm really impressed with this thing. Oh yes, and uh, plugged into the headphone socket. What have we got there? Well, let's just find out. It's playing. One thing this isn't terribly good at is, of course, alternate volumes, because this is only... And with that happy, happy message, <laughs> I'll leave that with you. Um, it is, of course, able to do uh, um, full telephony and one thing it won't do is uh, play a disc because there's no mechanism in it but it will actually output video so um, you could put that to a screen in the back and actually just stretch the whole system out but for uh, 300 quid retail it really is quite the most um, bonkers piece of kit versus what the sort of stuff used to cost it's a tragedy really in my eyes because <sighs> 
why well, wouldn't you give them to be able to afford it or something like this? But you can now. If you've got a single din hole in your vehicle, you can have a single din screeny. That's a 7 inch TFT touchscreen, by the way. Adam Rayner, signing out, Talk Audio TV.